everyone. Welcome back to our podcast. I'm Sophia, and today we're diving into a super helpful topic for anyone learning English on their own. The best free resources available online. So if you're looking to improve your English without spending money, this episode is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Ethan, and I'm so excited to talk about this. Learning a language on your own is already challenging, so finding good resources that don't cost anything is really helpful. We've gathered some of the best options, from websites to apps and even YouTube channels, so you have everything you need to start learning. Absolutely. Let's start with one of the most popular free resources out there, especially for beginners and intermediate learners. Duolingo. It's an app that turns language learning into a game with short lessons. You earn points, practice new words, and keep track of your daily progress. Yes, Duolingo is great for getting a solid foundation especially in vocabulary and grammar basics. And because it's set up like a game, it's easy to stay motivated. You can use it for a few minutes each day, and you'll notice improvement over time. Another resource that's awesome for practicing listening skills is BBC Learning English. They offer free videos, audio, and text resources on their website. Covering everything from pronunciation to grammar, vocabulary, and real-life conversation skills. That's a good one, Sophia. BBC Learning English has programs like The English We Speak, which focuses on common expressions used by native speakers. So if you're interested in learning phrases that people actually use in daily conversations, it's perfect. Right. And if you like reading while learning, News and Levels is an excellent website. It takes real news stories and simplifies them into different levels of English, so you can choose the one that matches your level and gradually work up as you get more comfortable. I love News and Levels. It's a good way to keep up with world events while practicing reading comprehension. Plus, reading news in English introduces you to vocabulary and phrases that aren't usually found in textbooks. Absolutely. Another great platform is Memrise. They have free courses that use short videos of native speakers to teach vocabulary in a more natural way. It's interactive, and you'll find courses covering all sorts of topics. Yes, Memrise is fantastic. The videos with native speakers help you hear real pronunciation, which makes a huge difference. And it's fun to use because it's designed to feel like a game, similar to Duolingo, but with more real-life context. All right, and let's talk about YouTube. It's probably one of the best resources for free English learning content. There are tons of channels out there. Each of these channels focuses on different skills like pronunciation, vocabulary, or idioms. YouTube is amazing because you can find videos that suit any level or topic. And the variety is endless. You can watch English-speaking vloggers, listen to podcasts, or find short grammar lessons. Watching videos also helps with listening skills, which is really important. Exactly. And don't forget about TED Talks. They're not specifically for English learners, but watching these talks with subtitles can be a great way to improve listening skills. Plus, you get to learn about interesting topics. That's a great suggestion, Sophia. TED Talks cover so many different subjects, so you're not just learning English. You're learning about science, art, technology, and more. And watching with subtitles can really help you pick up new words and expressions. Yes! 
Another great resource is Hello Talk. It's an app where you can connect with native speakers from around the world who are learning your language. So you get to practice English and they get to practice your native language. It's a real conversation exchange. Yes, Hello Talk is awesome for actually using English with real people. You can text, voice chat, or even video call. Having a real conversation with someone can boost your confidence and make speaking feel more natural. And here's a bonus tip for grammar help English Grammar Online and Grammarly. English Grammar Online is a free website with lots of grammar exercises. And Grammarly has a free version that helps correct your writing as you type. Good point, Sophia. Grammarly is especially helpful if you're writing emails or anything formal because it checks your grammar and spelling, helping you learn from any mistakes. It's like having a personal English editor. And we need to remember learning on your own doesn't have to be overwhelming. Just pick one or two resources to start, and then slowly add more as you feel comfortable. Right, and make sure to use these resources regularly. The key is to build a habit, even if it's just 10 minutes a day. Yes, consistency is what matters most. Thanks for listening, everyone. We hope these resources help make your learning journey smoother and more enjoyable. And remember, you're never truly alone in learning. With these tools, you have everything you need to keep improving. Good luck, and see you in the next episode. Bye everyone, and happy learning.